It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Today, six outstanding middle school students here to play our game. Play along with us and test your science IQ. Let's meet the teams. First from Benjamin Floyd Middle School, would you say hello to David Bailey, Kyle Anderson, and Darren Patterson. And from G. James Golson Middle School, here they are, Carlos Cruz, Blair Sams, and Josiah Simmons. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. The easier questions there on the left, worth five and 10. Tougher ones, 15, 20, ultimately 25. Toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, we will have a competitor for Green Belt and possibly our first semi-finalist moving on to the ultimate competition this year, the 30th year of Science Bowl here in the Prince George's County Public Schools. Let's go over and make sure everything works properly before we start the game. Let's go to the red team, Kyle. Try your buzzer, please. Thank you, young man. I like that determined push. Good luck to you, Dave, and to Darren. Blair, give it a push. Thank you, sir. Looks and sounds good. Good luck to you, to Josiah and to Carlos. Gentlemen, let's have a good game. May the better team win. We go alphabetically B before G. So Benjamin Falloy, start the game. Kyle, give me a category and a number. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 to start us out. Teams, other than corn, one of America's native crops is this plant that is grown for its seeds and its name is derived for its habit of showing very positive phototropism. Rice. Kyle. Rice. Not rice. Nope, nope. One of America's native crops, other than corn, is this plant harvested for its, for its seeds and its name derived for its example of very positive phototropism. Sunflowers? Yes, sunflowers, because they literally turn and follow the sun, those giant flowers of theirs. Fields of sunflowers. Nice comeback. That's how you do well on this. You guys are all good already. You're listening carefully to the clues in every question. Go green. Let's Blair. get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, this is a multiple choice question. Guano, which is bird droppings, were used during the Civil War to make gunpowder because they contained something with the chemical formula NaNO3. Is that nitrous oxide? sodium pentothal or sodium nitrate? Which of those three, Kyle? Sodium nitrate. It is sodium nitrate, yes, and if you know anything about fertilizers, you know nitrates are found in them. Nice answer, go. Um, Dateline science for 15. Dateline science for 15 points. Teams, recently a picture emerged on the evening news of this giant cloud over Costa Rica that was shimmering, it was an iridescent. Rainbow. Give me more. Um, prism? The... Um, help me out. Mm, Kyle, I'm sorry, because you're on the right track. Golson, as your friend Kyle over here said, this iridescent cloud over Costa Rica was shimmering because it was kind of a rainbow inside the cloud, and the prisms that caused it were little water droplets and little snowflakes inside. What is the process called when that white light is broken up into those colors? Any idea, guys? 
That is refraction. Refraction. The light is refracted, not reflected. Try again red. Tie score, 65 all. Kyle? Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, on his recent visit to Ethiopia, President Obama was privileged to look at the skeleton of Lucy, the oldest known human being there in Addis Ababa. He got to touch one of these backbones of Lucy's. Kyle. Discs. Not discs. Good try. One of these backbones and the skeleton of Lucy, the oldest human, Obama had the privilege of touching one. What did he touch? Her spine. A vertebra, a vertebra, the vertebral column there of the spine col spinal column. Go again, red. Zuparade. Zuparade for 15. Zuparade for 15 points, teams. Listen carefully. Of all the primates on Earth, most are arboreal. They live in trees. Some of them are partly arboreal and secondarily terrestrial, living on the ground. What is the only primate on Earth that lives entirely on the ground is an exclusively terrestrial? Blair. Homo sapien? You got it. We are. We are the ones. Nice answer. Go green. Science potpourri for 15. Science potpourri for 15 points. Teams. Because of the loud and boisterous noises made in football stadiums by fans, that noise can cause the needle to move on this instrument just as earthquakes do. All right, Feloy, what do you think? Seismogram. Seismogram. Seismogram or seismograph. Absolutely right, yes. Especially at Arrowhead Stadium out there in Kansas City. They are the loudest measured in decibels, and they can set off that seismograph very easily by all of that noise. All right, lead, gone, tie score again. 80 all, Kyle, go. Um, science potpourri for 10. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, you might have seen this in the news. A businessman was recently sentenced to 28 years in prison because his company let these legumes be shipped out even though they contained salmonella and killed nine people. As a result, what were those legumes that he let salmonella go out on? Last night, if you were watching, peanuts. Peanuts contain salmonella. He should, he should never have done that. He did that... Uh, um, foolishly and is now paying the price. The buzzer is rung. End of the first run, we're at a tie score. 80 for Golson, 80 for Foloy. We'll be back with more size full in just a moment. Don't go away. Imagine a child struggling to breathe, to speak, to eat. That's the tragic reality for the thousands of children born every year in the developing world with a cleft palate or cleft lip. Yet all it takes is a simple surgery that costs as little as $250 to repair a cleft and change a child's life forever. Please call. Your gift of any amount will help. Call 1-800-953-2458 or visit www.savemary.com. Simple moments are what make every day count.
and we welcome you back to Science Ball. Hope you're having a good time at home. We're having a good time here in the studio. Six great players, all here for the very first time. Even though you'd not know it, they're listening well. They're coming up with some good answers here, and we'll uh, test them further in the second half. But first, let's find out about them and their schools. Let's go first to Benjamin Folloy and Kyle. Tell us about Folloy. I'm already sold on the place because I've been there a couple times. It's a performing arts school, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and where is it located? Um, Suitland. Yeah, the Suitland area. You're not yeah. far from Andrews Air Force Base, or Joint Base Andrews, yeah. as they call it now. Uh, and as we speak, the Pope is coming in there, so it's going to be a busy place down there. Who's your principal? Mr. McCray. Mr. McCray, and uh, I know he's really devoted to the arts down there. And, Cal, you are a musician, is that right? Yes. Yeah, what do you play? Violin. You play the violin, and uh, uh, all of you have talents, and you audition to get into that school, I know. And tell me, uh, what is the best thing about Folloy? What do you like best? Mm. Kyle. Mm. The, we're all the performance. We all kind of have the same interests. Yeah, and that's important, isn't it? Because you're in a classroom and you know you have everybody going in the same direction. Uh, did you have any alternates on your team, Kyle? Yes. Who are they? Cornelius. Cornelius, and he'll be out in just a few moments. And who's the coach of your team? Miss Bell, right? Yeah. Miss Elizabeth Bell, she'll come out with Cornelius in just a few moments here. All right, Cal, good captain. Keep up the good work in the second half. David, you're an artist. And yes. I was talking to David earlier, and he mostly likes to draw. You do some sculpting, correct? Yes. Have you always had an artistic talent? Yes. Yeah. It comes from my family. Yeah? What, do you, what other members of the family can do things like you can? My uncle. Yeah? It's in the genes oftentimes, and I bet you're very good at that. What do you want to do professionally someday, Dave? I want to be an actor. Hmm. Uh, comedic, dramatic, or, or both? A little bit of both. A little bit of both, yeah. Be a nice utility player there so that the, the casting directors can use you for lots of different things. Uh, nice to have you here today. Thank you. You're welcome. Darren, uh, musician as well, a piano player. And how often do you practice? Mm. Two hours every day. Every day, yeah. And uh, I know Kyle would like to get to the Kennedy Sun Center someday to perform. And do you have similar aspirations? Would you like to be on a big stage somewhere? Yeah. Uh, something tells me you'll get there. Why do you want to be on this show? Mm, because I really like science. It's like my favorite subject. Wonderful. All right. So you're a, you're a musician and a scientist both. Keep up your good work here and uh, at school. Golson, nice to have you guys here. You're wearing your matching gold shirts over there because you are all eighth graders, right? Yeah, yeah and G. James Golson, uh, it's just up the street from our studio here in Landover. You're by FedEx Field, and I had the privilege of meeting Mr. Golson a few years ago before he passed on. He was a great educator. I know he'd be proud of you guys today. Uh, tell me who your principal is now, Blair. Miss Hall. Miss Hall. And uh, Miss Stacy Henry is your coach, and what a great coach she is. In fact, I know she inspired you, Blair, because what do you want to do someday? I want to be a science teacher. Yeah, just like her, following her footsteps. I, I bet, you know, she just floats on air down there hearing you say that because that's what all teachers would hope to hear. Um, do you have any alternates on your team? I think you do. Yes. Can you give me their first names? Can, can you help them out if he doesn't remember the whole list, Blair? Dejanay, Naomi, Aisha, and Nina. All right, you did a nice job on that. And I'll ask you what I asked Kyle. What's the best thing about Golson, if you had to pick one thing? Our administration. Wow. So they, they really care about your welfare over there, and you sense that and feel it. Blair, I know uh, in your spare time you do some modeling, right? Yes, sir. How long have you done that? For one year. One year. And what's it like? Is it what you imagined? No, Why it's is not. it not? Why not? Because I thought it would be simple, but after I started doing it, it became harder. You know, it's, it's probably like anything that looks effortless, whether it's Tiger Woods swinging a golf club or uh, uh, someone swinging a baseball bat. It takes a lot of practice, you know, and, it, and a lot more goes into it than, than it appears. Good to have you here today. Josiah, tell us about yourself. What do you want to do someday? Um, I want to be a chemist, yeah. and I want to, like, become, become one of the scientists that, like, look for a cure for cancer. Yeah. And, so and I want to uh, actually go into neurology and like mostly help other people and with their problems and like I'm a good friend and like helping people out which I love and I like I just like being around my friends and stuff like that. I like what you said you like being a good friend you know and mm -hmm. good friends are very important to have in life you're gonna need them all the way along 
and you want to go to Yale, don't you? Yes. Yeah, Yale. you're aiming high. And David over here at Floyd, he wants to go to Yale too. So it uh, uh, doesn't surprise me because you guys are great students. Nice to have you with us. Carlos, good to have you here. Tell us the Carlos story. Engineer, right? Yeah. What kind of engineer? Civil engineer. Civil engineer. And tell us about reverse engineering. Oh, so I really like taking stuff apart uh -huh. and like putting them back together. Yeah. Trying to make new things or new ways to like make them better. Like I do that with my computer all the time. Yeah. And you know, it's like, it's like doctors have to dissect mm -hmm. people after they're dead, of course. Yeah. You know, they don't put them back together to work. But you've got to learn the inner workings yeah. of something to figure out how it goes. Good head on your shoulders. Thanks for being here. Good. Good player. Let's get back to the game. Tie score, 80 all. Last great answer came from the red team. So Kyle, start us out. Looks like we wiped out the 15 pointers. The rest is up for grabs. Um, Dateline science for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, even though a German apparently had discovered it 100 years before, Benjamin Franklin is credited with discovering this river of warm water that runs through the Atlantic Ocean up the Atlantic seaboard. Yeah, Golson. I would like to pass it to Carlos. Carlos, what do you Atlantic think? The Atlantic Street. Again? The Atlantic Street. The Atlantic Street. No, that's, that's an interesting name for it, though. Benjamin Floyd, this river of warm water that runs up the Atlantic seaboard in the, the Atlantic Ocean. The Gulf Current. Gulf Current, absolutely right. Or the Gulf nice. Stream. Good answer. Thank you, Darren, for your assist. Go, Kyle. Um... Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, there's a new movie out called Southpaw about a boxer. Problem is it's mistitled because the actor who plays the lead, Jake Gyllenhaal, is actually this. Do you guys follow sports? If, if a pitcher is a Southpaw, what is he? He's left-handed. So the actor in this case is right-handed. So it is mistitled that way. Come on, guys, go red. Um, zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. Teams, if big animals like lions and tigers and bears are fighting, what two weapons do they generally use? What two weapons? Come on, Floyd. Fangs and claws. Again? Fangs and claws. Fangs and claws or tooth and claws. Like they say, they were fighting tooth and claw. You got them both. Good. Go red. Come on. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, recently, Nats Park gave to the first 20,000 fans a bust of Jason Worth and these kind of seeds that they could glue on to grow a green beard. What are those kind of seeds called that they use at Christmas for pets? Kyle. Chilla? Not quite. Come, come on, you're in the ballpark. Cheetah. No. Not no, quite. No. Not quite. What's Golson, it? can you tell us what they are? Chia. Chia. Ch -ch -ch Chia pets. That's right. One of those gifts that you never want to get, but people think that you might want to have. Go again, please. Green. 110 to 90 advantage for Loy. Blair, you choose. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, if you were trying to get some water out of a well, you'd put a bucket on this turnstile and lower it down. What is that simple machine called that has a two-part name to get that water out of the well, Kyle? A, a axle and pulley. Not wheel, an axle wheel and a pulley. Golson, what is, what is that called, that two-part Two-part named simple machine. Axle and crank. A wheel and axle. A wheel and axle. You came close. You threw that in at the last minute. It already moved on. Good try. No points. Go green. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, physicists have recently discovered that in an atom's nucleus, the neutrons are actually heavier than what other subatomic particles? Protons. Yes, sir. Why do I recognize you before you blurt it out? But I like the answer. You got those points. Go, Kyle. Um, science potpourri for 20. Science potpourri for 20 points. Teams, scientists have discovered that tart cherries are every bit as effective and analgesic as ibuprofen or Tylenol. What is an analgesic? What does it do for you? 
Apparently, tart cherries can do it as well as those medications, Kyle. Pain relief. Yeah, pain it's relief. pain relief. It sounds like it seems like every other commercial on TV is about pain relief. So, yeah, if you're out of pills, maybe if you want to go homeopathic, just try a handful of cherries. Go red. Um, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, at one time it was thought that the center of all of our emotions was not in our heart, but in what hepatic organ? Blair. Our brain. Not our brain, no. Good try. What hepatic organ was at one time thought to be the seat of all of our emotions? Lungs. Lungs? Liver. Liver. That's the hepatic organ. Try red. 140 to 90. You still have the lead. Where next? Zuparade. Zuparade for 20. Zuparade for 20 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor gentleman in the studio, please. Back in 1972, the Environmental Protection Agency outlawed DDT, which probably brought back from extinction these O-initialed raptors that we see all around the Chesapeake Bay. Benjamin Falloy? Osprey. Osprey, absolutely right. Yes, they are everywhere and they are a great sight to see. Red. Dateline science for, oops, dateline science for 10. Sorry. Dateline science for 10 points, all right. The question is as follows. Albert Einstein believed everything should be orderly, and he once said that God does not play dice with the cosmos. Cosmos being another name for the what? G. James Golson. Universe. Universe, absolutely right. Nice help there, Carlos. Good assist. Go, Blair. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points, teams. Down at the National Arboretum in Washington, they have a 350-year-old tree that's only this big. It survived the atomic bomb in Hiroshima, and it stayed that small because of a pruning method known by what B initial term? What B initial term makes those tiny little trees, Golson? I would like to pass it to Carlos. Bonsai? Bonsai, yes, sir. Two in a row. Good, go. You're on a roll. Green things for 25. Green things for 25. Big one in the category teams. Score update. Falloy 160. Golson 120. Question. Green things for 25. Mosses are known as non-vascular plants, meaning they don't have tubes inside like other plants to move water around. How do they get water? They use this O initial process that moves water from an area of higher concentration to lower concentration, Falloy. Osmosis. Yes, sir. Nicely done, Kyle. Osmosis it is. Where next? Dateline Science 25. Dateline Science for 25. Dateline Science for 25 points. Teams, this famous Nobel Prize winning scientist discovered the DNA molecule with his colleague Francis Crick back in the 1950s and recently made news because he made disparaging comments about women. For 25 points, who was that co-founder of DNA with Francis Crick? James Watson, Watson and Crick, the DNA model that you see, the spiral staircase everywhere. No points, sorry about that, go red. Um, um, let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points, teams. You know, it's easier to spill a cup of coffee than a latte because the bubbles in the latte reduce this force with the sides so that it reduces the wave action. The bubbles on the side reduce what force? Repulsion? Not repulsion, good try. What's the force that is reduced by those bubbles in the latte? Keeps the wave action down in a latte. Friction? Yeah, that's what I want. Good, go. Yes, sir. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. Visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio. If you went to see the movie Jurassic World, you remember these two boys going through the park. They are in a sphere that is named for what kind of G initial device where there are... Gyrosphere. Again? Gyrosphere. What? Say it slowly. Gyrosphere. Gyrosphere. Absolutely right. I was trying to get gyro. You were way ahead of me. Good. Go. Um... Let's get physical for 25. Get physical for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, Napoleon Bonaparte supposedly lost his war with the Russians because the buttons on all of his soldiers' uniforms were made of this chemical element with the symbol SN, a chemical element that crumbles when it gets cold. Those buttons were made of what? T. 
Tin. Tin. S N is tin. Stannis, go. Red. Um, Zoop raid for five. Zoop raid for five points. Teams, your question is as follows. Some reptiles and amphibians are absolutely famous, like the Geico Gecko on TV. And in Hollywood, this amphibian that eats flies and dates pigs is big. Golson. The frog. Specifically? Kermit the frog. Kermit. Kermit the frog, that's right. You act like you haven't heard about him. Go, Golson. <laughs> Super parade for 25. Super parade for 25 points. All right, the big one in that category teams. Sloths and anteaters are one time considered in a group called edentates, which is wrong because they actually do have some teeth. Scratch edentates. They now belong to a classification group called Xenarthrins because they have very strange what's. Arms? Kyle. Arms? More specifically. Joints? Joints, yeah. That's a great answer. Thank you, Darren. That was super. The buzzer's just rung. I hate to see this game end. We've got six great players here. We'll be back in a moment with a wrap-up. Don't go away. I tell people I have three kids. One of them's adopted. I just don't know which one. I can't imagine having to be in a birth mother's position to make that choice. You know, I was kind of just asking her, you know, what is your motivation? Why are you doing this? And she looked at me and she said, because you can give my son a life that, that I could not. We always tell her, thank you. He is such a blessing to us. Every day is just a ray of sunshine for him. So. We're Chanda and Brian, and we chose adoption. Sometimes I want more information about what's in a video game. Now there's a new way to get rating information along with in-depth rating summaries. Where shoot lasers from an arm cannon and limbs fly off. Check the rating and use rating summaries anytime and anywhere. And best of all, they're free. Formula One Racing. For more information about the ratings and rating summaries, go to esrb.org slash mobile. Welcome back to Science Bowl. We had a great time here today, and why wouldn't we? We had six outstanding players, and we're proud of all of them. Let's look at that final tally. It is G. James Golson, 130. Benjamin Floyd, 235. Never been on the show before. You did a super job. Dave and Kyle and Darren, look at the smiles over there. Cornelius has given us a big grin, too, and Miss Elizabeth, though, thank you for doing this. You're a great coach. We'll see you in the next round. Golson, let's see those big smiles over there. Let's see that model smile over there, Blair. You got it going. Josiah and Carlos, you played a super game. You really came back in that second half. And say hello to Naomi. Raise your hand, Naomi and Dejeuner and Aisha and Nina and that wonderful coach back there, my good friend Stacy Henry and the principal of Golson, Miss Hall is here as well. We thank you all for joining us and we'll see you next time on the Science Ball. Bye-bye now.